you can bring your car. So okay. Mm-hmm. And she said, I'm take the boys, my son and her two boys. I'm like, okay. And um, we came from him and all the way into New Haven, but it wasn't until she turned onto his street. Mm. I was like, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, and then I saw all the cars. I saw my sis- other sister's truck, and I was like, we're too far down the street from his house because there's a park across the street from his house, so there's really no cars. So I was like, I said, Lori, I'm not ready for this. I'm not dressed up. Yeah, and I said, I didn't want to come to the jewelry demonstration. She was like, Too late. Too late. Like, all I know is I was invited for dinner. Oh, okay. She played it well. She played it well. Yeah, they did. We're, uh, but we're pretty much all, all set to them. We're going to get very good, good, good. Okay. We're ready to go. And again, as you mentioned, that you guys will be editing it also, so there's, good, no, there's, no, there's no need to. I'm glad. Are you going to ask me some questions, too? No, I believe Tim's going to. Okay. Uh, Gonna, gonna handle the show. Okay. We're all set when you go. Oh. The ice maker. <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> now, should I look at the camera when I? No, no, yeah. we're we're not even here. The camera. Okay. In fact, I'm gonna stand up in a second. Let you guys just go go for oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, uh, Bridget, you were introduced to Mutual Housing Association how? Uh, through a friend. Um, she had brought to my attention that there was this uh, new development going on on uh, George Street mm-hmm. and she said it was a community thing and she she knows that I like things like that and she said, I think you will kind of enjoy it. So she gave me the, the address and I came over just to see mm-hmm. what it was about and from then on it was just very interesting. Definitely something I wanted to be a part of and I just stepped into it. And how long before you actually moved into George Street? Um, it was about, I want, I want to say a good six to eight months mm-hmm. before from the beginning process. So I had to go over there to do community service when it was just an empty building. Mm-hmm. Actually, the floor that I was on, the third floor, was not even done. Mm-hmm. So I actually was the first person in my apartment um, to get up there. And um, it, was, it was interesting. Um, we do security. Um, learn all about the program, which I thought was really interesting. I didn't think they would do anything like that here mm-hmm. in Connecticut. And um, just meeting all the people there was was interesting. I felt like I had a, a, a second family, is what I did. Wow. And I did. The kids loved it too. They did? Yeah, yeah. They did. The kids were a little smaller at the time, but they, they loved it. Well, they had the playground. The playground wasn't done at that oh, time. Oh, it wasn't done? So it was just the point that there were other children in the building and that. The other, other grown-ups looked at them as though they were their own, mm-hmm. you know, so if my child happened to do something wrong or somebody else did something wrong, it was kind of okay to correct them because parents knew each other, and it, it kind of worked. That does so, work. Yeah, that was really nice. I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have the lovely home here. Well, thank you. Good. This was an interesting process, too. Mm. Now, you also served in resident and board leadership with Mutual Housing Association. How would you get into that? Um, like just one, one of them knows you, likes to know things. <laughs> and I always felt that the best way to know things is to get right in there. So that's what I did. Um, as I got to know um, all the other members um, on the board as well as residents there, just thought it was a way to go, a um, way to voice my opinion. And then I could come back and tell all the other residents from a resident's point of view. Mm-hmm. And that's the way I, I looked at it. Um, once I joined, it was, it was interesting. First, I didn't think I, I belonged there because mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, board meetings are for executives and things like that. But after, uh, you know, a couple meetings, I kind of sunk right into it. It was interesting. What kind of things did you do? Um, well, we talked, they're on board. We talked about everything from the finances to the playground to uh, things for the children to up-and-coming developments um, and from the board you branch off to other committees and mm-hmm. just become part of those as far as trying to get it all to work and, and it did. We got place we got place gate for the children. Um, a lot of things very focused around the kids, um, how to make the building a better building. Um, any, Complaints that the residents may have that we felt that we could bring forth, we would do so. We mm-hmm. try to try to figure it out and get it together. Wow! Had you had any experience in leadership and you know council before? No. Not even in <laughs> no. high school or. No, no, no. Normally, 
pretty quiet one there, the yeah. quiet one. But um, once I got there, it, it actually helped me open up as a person. Mm -hmm. Yes, it right. is. I'm more verbal now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. And you felt it was a worthwhile experience. Yeah, I recommend it to anyone. I, I really do. Um, my children were involved. Um, my son even got on. He was the vice president of the team committee. Oh. He had never done that before, so that was an opening experience for him. Mm -hmm. and once he started high school and he put that down, that also helped him too. How old is he? Uh, he was 16 in December. Oh boy, is he wanted his license? Yeah, right now he's doing the football thing right now. Oh, he must be pretty proud. Yeah. What position? He plays a little bit of everything. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. No, does he go over here? At... He goes to Hill oh. yeah. That's a nice school. Yeah, I went there. So my family went there, and we all came up pretty well. Mm -hmm. Quite a few famous people. My daughter took her SATs there. Too. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, he, I just saw him up with eight kids. I believe he's doing it. Mm -hmm. His coaches are advising him to take them down. With the SATs. The SATs. Oh, that's great. And how much of a time commitment per week was the board for you? Was it? Did it really put a strain on you? The board was uh, once a month. It was um, on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. Tuesday night. It wasn't that bad. Um, because my children at that point was starting to get old enough where they could be there for a long couple, or a couple hours. Mm -hmm. But um, no, it wasn't that bad. Not at all. It, it wasn't like a second job then, right? No, no. You do, being there within the building, you do put in a lot of time. Mm -hmm. you, you can put in a lot of time if you're one of those that are willing to put the foot forward. You can. But um, you just spread your time and it falls into place. The rewards, uh, you talked about the playscape, you said there was no playscape now? Nope, there was no playscape at all. Actually, the three buildings in, in back that we on to Gilbert were mm -hmm. not existing for us at the time. So if you like look around here, it's come a long way. That's it's why. A very long way. Um, I, kids like it. They, they were very excited about it. You must have a sense of pride that you created that. I, I, I do like the fact that I had a part of I can actually say, I'm a little part of that. Or, mm -hmm. I, I contribute a little bit to that. So, yeah. You contributed a lot. In fact, the playscape, we're looking to redo it. But in, as the children have grown older in the building, some of the ones who mm -hmm. stay, they want more basketball courts, more things like that. So mm -hmm. they're working with Kevin, our Ewing, our resident coordinator. Okay. Who, uh, That's good, because it really helps. Community yeah. organizer. With it being a lot of kids in the building. Yeah, it, it, it worked. It did once the once the place it was set in place. Mm -hmm. It did it worked. And they have a don't they have a variety of like social activities for the kids once in a while like fairs and yes, those kinds of things. Yes, we have fairs there. We have movie night for the kids mm -hmm. uh, where the kids would uh, come in and we do they would do popcorn and uh, give them a piece of time, hot dogs and drinks and um, shut off all the lights in the community room and sit there and have have a movie night, they had Halloween parties for them, um, they had Christmas parties for them, and uh, the kids really, really enjoyed it. It was giving them something to do being at home. I did. I, I thought it was nice. I, I do, I do, I really do miss it sometimes. <laughs> I, I do. Well, if you I, weren't so sick, if, if you were, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I was going to say if you weren't so successful, you would go back, but it's You've moved on, and let, let's talk about let's talk about where you are today. This is a beautiful home. It's brand new. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a house home through the city, and um, actually, someone, a coworker at work, um, mentioned the process to me, and I took advantage of it. You know, so let me try. I figured all I could do is try mm -hmm. and see how far I get, and um, it did wonderful things for me. And I must say that um, there's a um, finance class, uh, home ownership kind of class done there at George Street of the mm -hmm. building. I think it was my first union degree. Mm -hmm. And um, I took the classes and when I went for the home ownership program for right here, um, they took all those credits from that class done on George Street and they applied them to me applying for here. Wow. And it, it, it helped. I think out of all the eight, I think I had to take one mm -hmm. that they felt that I needed. But by being there on George Street, I was able to take advantage of those classes. 